A topological quantum computer is a theoretical quantum computer that employs two-dimensional quasiparticles called anions, whose world lines pass around one another to form braids in a three-dimensional spacetime i.e., one temporal plus two spatial dimensions. These braids form the logic gates that make up the computer. The advantage of a quantum computer based on quantum braids over using trapped quantum particles is that the former is much more stable. Small, cumulative perturbations can cause quantum states to decoir and introduce errors in the computation, but such small perturbations do not change the braid's topological properties. This is like the effort required to cut a string and reattach the ends to form a different braid, as opposed to a ball representing an ordinary quantum particle in four-dimensional space-time bumping into a wall. Alexei Kitev proposed topological quantum computation in 1997. While the elements of a topological quantum computer originate in a purely mathematical realm, experiments in fractional quantum hall systems indicate these elements may be created in the real world using semiconductors made of gallium arsenide at a temperature of near absolute zero and subjected to strong magnetic fields. Introduction Anions are quasi-particles in a two-dimensional space. Anions are neither fermions nor bosons, but like fermions, they cannot occupy the same state. Thus, the world lines of two anions cannot intersect or merge, which allows their paths to form stable braids in space-time. Anions can form from excitations in a cold, two-dimensional electron gas in a very strong magnetic field, and carry fractional units of magnetic flux. This phenomenon is called the fractional quantum Hall effect. In typical laboratory systems, the electron gas occupies a thin semiconducting layer sandwiched between layers of aluminium gallium arsenide. When anions are braided, the transformation of the quantum state of the system depends only on the topological class of the anions' trajectories which are classified according to the braid group. Therefore, the quantum information which is stored in the state of the system is impervious to small errors in the trajectories. In 2005, Sankar Das Sama, Michael Friedman, and Chetan Nayak proposed a quantum hall device which would realize a topological qubit. In a key development for topological quantum computers, in 2005 Vladimir J. Goldman, Fernando E. Camino, and Wei Zhou were said to have created the first experimental evidence for using fractional quantum Hall effect to create actual anions, although others have suggested their results could be the product of phenomena not involving anions. It should also be noted that non-abelian anions, a species required for topological quantum computers, have yet to be experimentally confirmed. Possible experimental evidence has been found, but the conclusions remain contested. Topic: <laughs> Topological vs standard quantum computer. Topological quantum computers are equivalent in computational power to other standard models of quantum computation, in particular to the quantum circuit model and to the quantum Turing machine model. That is, any of these models can efficiently simulate any of the others. Nonetheless, certain algorithms may be a more natural fit to the topological quantum computer model. For example, algorithms for evaluating the Jones polynomial were first developed in the topological model, and only later converted and extended in the standard quantum circuit model. Computations 
To live up to its name, a topological quantum computer must provide the unique computation properties promised by a conventional quantum computer design, which uses trapped quantum particles. Fortunately in 2002, Michael H. Friedman, Alexei Kitev, Michael J. Larson, and Zhengen Wang proved that a topological quantum computer can, in principle, perform any computation that a conventional quantum computer can do. They found that a conventional quantum computer device, given an error free operation of its logic circuits, will give a solution with an absolute level of accuracy, whereas a topological quantum quantum computing device with flawless operation will give the solution with only a finite level of accuracy. However, any level of precision for the answer can be obtained by adding more braid twists logic circuits to the topological quantum computer, in a simple linear relationship. In other words, a reasonable increase in elements braid twists can achieve a high degree of accuracy in the answer. Actual computation gates are done by the edge states of a fractional quantum Hall effect. This makes models of one-dimensional anions important. In one space dimension, anions are defined algebraically. <laughs> Error correction and control Even though quantum braids are inherently more stable than trapped quantum particles, there is still a need to control for error-inducing thermal fluctuations, which produce random stray pairs of anions which interfere with adjoining braids. Controlling these errors is simply a matter of separating the anions to a distance where the rate of interfering strays drops to near zero. Simulating the dynamics of a topological quantum computer may be a promising method of implementing fault-tolerant quantum computation even with a standard quantum information processing scheme. Rausendorf, Harrington, and Goyle have studied one model, with promising simulation results. Example, computing with Fibonacci anions One of the prominent examples in topological quantum computing is with a system of Fibonacci anions. These anions can be used to create generic gates for topological quantum computing. There are three main steps for creating a model. Choose our basis and restrict our Hilbert space Braid the anions together Fuse the anions at the end, and detect how they fuse in order to read the output of the system. <laughs> State preparation Fibonacci anions are defined by three qualities they have a topological charge of tau display style tau in this discussion we consider another charge 1 display style 1 which is the vacuum charge if anions are annihilated with each other each of these anions are their own antiparticle tau equals Tau display style tau equals tau caret asterisk and one equals one display style one equals one caret asterisk. If brought close to each other, they will fuse together in a non-trivial fashion. Specifically, the fusion rules are one. One equals one. Display style one o times one equals one. One tau equals tau. One equals tau. Display style one o times tau equals tau o times one equals tau. 
tau tau equals 1 tau display style tau o times tau equals 1 o plus tau many of the properties of this system can be explained similarly to that of two spin one half particles particularly we use the same tensor product display style o times and direct sum display style o plus operators the last fusion rule can be extended this to a system of 3 anions tau 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 equals tau 1 tau equals tau 1 tau tau equals tau 1 tau equals 1 2 tau display style tau o times tau o times tau equals tau o times 1 o plus tau equals tau o times 1 o plus tau o times tau equals tau o plus 1 o plus tau equals 1 o plus 2 c d o t tau thus fusing three anions will yield a final state of total charge tau display style tau in two ways or a charge of 1 display style 1 in exactly one way we use three states to define our basis however because we wish to encode these three anion states as superpositions of 0 and 1 we need to limit the basis to a two dimensional hilbert space thus we consider only two states with a total charge of tau display style tau this choice is purely phenomenological in these states we group the two leftmost anions into a control group and leave the rightmost as a non computational anion we classify a 0 display style 0 wrangle state as one where the control group has total fused charge of 1 display style 1 and a state of 1 display style 1 wrangle has a control group with a total fused charge of tau display style tau for a more complete description see nyack topic Gates Following the ideas above, adiabatically braiding these anions around each other would result in a unitary transformation. These braid operators are a result of two subclasses of operators the F matrix. The R matrix. The R matrix can be conceptually thought of as the topological phase that is imparted onto the anions during the braid. As the anions wind around each other, they pick up some phase due to the Aharonov Bohm effect. The F matrix is a result of the physical rotations of the anions. As they braid between each other, it is important to realize that the bottom two anions, the control group will still distinguish the state of the qubit. Thus, braiding the anions will change which anions are in the control group, and therefore change the basis. We evaluate the anions by always fusing the control group the bottom anions together first, so exchanging which anions these are will rotate the system. Because these anions are non-abelian, the order of the anions which ones are within the control group will matter, and as such they will transform the system. The complete braid operator can be derived as B equals F minus 1 R F 
display style b equals f caret minus one r f in order to mathematically construct the f and r operators, we can consider permutations of these f and r operators. We know that if we sequentially change the basis that we are operating on, this will eventually lead us back to the same basis. Similarly, we know that if we braid anions around each other a certain number of times, this will lead back to the same state. These axioms are called the pentagonal and hexagonal axioms respectively as performing the operation can be visualized with a pentagon – hexagon of state transformations. Although mathematically difficult, these can be approached much more successfully visually. With these braid operators, we can finally formalize the notion of braids in terms of how they act on our Hilbert space and construct arbitrary universal quantum gates. Explicit braids that perform particular quantum computations with Fibonacci anions have been given by See also Ginzburg-Landau theory Hussey q representation Random matrix Topological defect Toric code